Okay, now I want to convert a bunch of masters uh, WAV files into MP3s. I can open each individual file or I can do a batch conversion. So the first thing I need to do is actually hit record, re just record something and you want to take it, file, and you want to export it into the format you want. So I want MP3, I just can go to the desktop. Um, here I can call it TEST and I want to choose the option. So I want the standard right here. If I wanted another setting, like the for the telephone, I would change it to here. The chain will use the last export setting you have. You cannot set that up in the chain for some reason. So I just exported that to set my settings. The other thing I want to change too is if I go under Edit Chain, you'll see that they already have an MP3 conversion already set up. Well, I don't like it. They have it normalized negative 5, and I don't like that. So I just like to have it export an MP3. Click there. Now I'm going to go up. I'm going to apply the chain, and I want to apply it to files. So I want to take this, convert to MP3. I want to go find my files here, go into my master, and I'll choose my Genesis 1 through 3. You can choose a whole bunch. Click on it. And you can click Don't Warn Me Again, so you don't have to click this for every single file. But I typically read the file directly from the original. It's faster. You don't have to open it up as much. So I click OK. It opens it up. Exports it as MB3. This is why you want to check that box. You can go away, have some coffee or something. I'll process all these. You can use other software to do this, but I'm just showing you how to use Audacity. So I'll process those files. I close it down. And in the folder under my here, the master folder, it will make a folder called cleaned. And there's my um, MP3s. Now I want to say, take these, actually, control A, cut them, control X, and I want to put this into my distribution, high quality, right click, paste, put them here. Because we're going to do it again on our masters and we're going to do it for the telephone, on a cell phone. So I'm going to go back in here. And if I didn't move them out of here, it would overwrite those files. So I'm going to go back in here, record something again, and now I'm going to go export MP3. I want to go down here and I do want to overwrite him, but I want to choose the option, variable, nine, standard. Now I do that. So now my settings for my MP3 is set for the low quality. Then I just do the same thing again. Go to here. Go choose my file. Masters 1 through 3. Do the same thing. You can actually see right here Right here it says it's doing the quality 9, so I know that it's changing it to the last one. Now I want to go in, find these clean, and we'll just look at this right here. But this guy right here is size, where is his size? He's 13, 113. So I'm going to take him, right click, cut him. Go back to my distribution, go to my low quality, right click, paste, and if I go back to my other one, my master up here, you look at the size, and he's 209, and this is a small file. So you can see that they're two different sizes. So you can do the same thing. You can go to Audacity, set up a chain to, um, if you want to, convert them out to Augvorbis or something like that. You can um, OGG and then you just insert that I want to 
convert this out, export it to Augmorbis, and you would do the same thing. You would do the settings before you apply the chain.